You may face a typical problem while dealing with character. Let me show you with this example. Here we have three variables, one character variable and other two integer variable. The character variable is ch and i and j are two integer variables. Here with this scanf at line number 9, you can see that I am taking the integer value in variable i. Here I am printing enter a character with this printf. Then the control is supposed to stand here at this scanf where the user is supposed to input a character and that goes to the variable ch. Then it should print enter another integer and the user is supposed to give integer value and that goes to variable i. So first of all it will hold at this scanf where the user is supposed to input integer. Then it's going to print this prompt and then it's going to stand here at this scanf while the user is supposed to put a character value that goes in ch and then again the last scanf is actually going to take another integer variable. Let me just and then the last scanf is going to take the last integer value to j. Let me just execute the program to show you whether how it is working, whether it is working exactly according to our expected view or not. I'm executing the program. So it is waiting here at scanf as the first scanf that means it is waiting right now here it is asking for the value enter and integer this has been printed you can see that and it is waiting here at this scanf and if I provide an integer number and if I provide an integer it will actually will be assigned to the variable i by this scanf and immediately then immediately after doing that it will print this enter a character and will stand here now see what happens So I'm giving say 25 and I'm pressing enter. Oops. Now you can see that instead of holding at second scanf here it is going skipping that scanf that means this scanf is not working right now. It is skipping this scanf and coming here and printing this enter another integer. Now the cursor is waiting here at this scanf. Now why this is happening so? This is because of the fact that when I have given this 25 here along with 25 I have pressed enter in order to terminate my input. So this 25 has been taken by this scanf and assigned to the variable i. Now this enter the return key this is also taken by the system and that's there in the input buffer. The standard input buffer is that part of memory that going to hold the next input value from the keyboard. So 25 is there in the input buffer that is taken by the scanf and assigned to i but this return key is still there in the input buffer. So when this scanf comes it is expecting a character from the keyboard. So this return key is already sitting there in the standard input buffer. It is finding that return key in the standard input buffer and this ch variable is assigned with that particular return key. If I print the ASCII value of this ch it's going to be the ASCII value for the return key and that is supposed to be 10. So it's skipping this scanf because it is already getting its value from the input buffer. So it's not standing or holding there at this scanf. So it is going out here. So in order to do away with this problem what we need to do is clear the standard input buffer prior to taking the character using scanf. So we can do it in this way. It's very simple to clean the buffer with scanf. When you are supposed to take a character using scanf then just put a space or prefix a space here before the person C. That will do the trick. Just give a space here before the format specifier. That will just do the needful to clean the buffer before taking the character. So now in this time scanf is not going to find anything in the input buffer. So thing is going to be correct. Let me just execute the program and show you that it's working fine now. 
Here you can see that it's asking for the first integer. I'm giving 12. Now here it is. It's standing on the second scanf. It's expecting a character. So I'm giving say a and then it is asking for the second integer. So this is a common problem with character. If you are taking a character after something else, then always the return key that was provided to the previous scanf will create this problem and in order to do away with this problem just prefix a space with the format specifier of character in a scanf.